here's a poorly written headline. Maybe they're trying to be funny. Maybe they just don't get it. Doctor's constipation theory poo-pooed by colleagues. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know why this makes me laugh. I just, look at the picture. Lady Dynamite explodes for win. Lady Dynamite explodes for win. There she is. There's Lady Dynamite, ladies and gentlemen. Bless our young people, because our young people are the future of America. Graduates look forward to tomorrow, to look forward to the future. Here's Bob Vincent. Bob says, I'm headed off to the University of Montana. I'm going to get my degree in something, apply my degree to something, and do something. <laughs> yes, sir, <to> Bob. <laughs> uh, you want fries with that, Bob? <laughs> Dad's no best. Uh, yeah, there's people get advice. Here's Jim Merritt. He says, I just wish my dad was still around so I could talk to him about the important things in life. And here's Glenn Allen, 14. Look what Glenn says. Dad said, be nice to ugly girls because they might look good later and have good-looking <laughs> friends. Yeah. You know, thank God. <laughs> Just thank God there was a father home to teach this young boy. Here's an interview with Mario Youngblood. You know, he is a fine, fine athlete. He, they ask him a bunch of questions. I like question number 14. What do you like about living in Oklahoma? You can pee anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's the 2000 Ford Focus LX four-door. Like, look at this, look at this. Look, folks. It's a European chick maggot. <laughs> it's a chick maggot. Yeah. <laughs> Here's somebody sent out invitations to their wedding, trying to be kind of classy. Gates open at 4.30. Whores served at 6 p.m. <laughs> Blowout special, refried beans. <laughs> There's Mickleberry pre-liced ham. The lice is already in the meat, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Give it that extra crunchiness. There's chicken dumping. <laughs> Here's one from the Mojave Valley Daily News. Yeah, I'm going to find out who. This is the most poorly written, stupid headline. Who wrote this? John Albert Al Appleby is arrested for a whole bunch of things. <laughs> what is that? What is that? <laughs> stupid criminals, Kev. My favorite. All right. All right. Police guy, the police brought this man in. And uh, Maurice Smith, 19, of Harrison Village, he placed, before he went through the metal detector, placed the contents of his pockets, including a small amount of marijuana on the deputy's desk before going through the metal detector. It can happen, you know. <laughs> it can happen. Yeah. <laughs> Folks, here's someone looking for a medical ass. If you have a medical ass, please. Here's Emmy Lou Hepworth, and how proud is she? Student presents Senior Piano Rectal on Saturday. <laughs> you know, when you think you got problems, you meet somebody who's got a problem just a little bigger than you. I don't think I need to say anything about this picture. Kev, I know you're a vegetarian, but this oh, will yeah. change your mind. Oh, Look at this. Oh. Meat from diseased animals Ooh. approved for consumption. Oh. Look at new rules classify tumors and open sores as aesthetic problems. Oh. <laughs> ah, that's hey, give me a double tumor with cheese on it, then. <laughs> Here's just a typical bad headline. Times will be good if they don't turn bad. <laughs> 
Here you go. Children invited to eat pizza with poo. Mm. <laughs> outstanding attendance. There's Lawrence. He was outstanding attendance. Perfect attendance is won by Abby Crager, who was absent. <laughs> You know, I looked at this picture and I said, why did they send me this? Is it the story? Is it the headline? And the more I looked at the picture, I realized, oh my God, the kid has three hands. <laughs> your opinion, the question, would you approve or disapprove of wireless tower, uh, telephone towers in your neighborhood? I like Radford Mitchell. Well, that stuff causes cancer, man. Yeah. Yeah. Unlike that thing in his mouth. You know, a dad is so... We downplay the role of dads in our society, but dads are very important. Here's the, on the street, uh, what's the worst advice you ever got from your dad? Here's John Dover. He says, my dad's advice is always pretty good. He told me not to piss uphill or into the wind or on an electric fence. Yeah. <laughs> Usually involves urination, his advice. <laughs> Here's the most honest photo caption I've ever seen. And there's a photo, look at the caption. Blah, 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 blah. You know, I feel sorry when bad things happen to people, but, you know, sometimes, I'm sorry, you know, it's your own fault. I mean, this is... Luckily, no one was killed here, but... Uh, okay, I'm going to read the story. Cincinnati District Fire Chief Anson Turley said the fire was probably started by a cigarette Mrs. Bingham was smoking as she changed her oxygen tank. <laughs> this to me. Naturally, artificially flavored. <laughs> what planet are people from? Senior Troop 891 traveled to London. There's eight pieces of golden fried chicken, two breasts, two legs, two thighs, two wings, and two chicken lips. <laughs> First of all, that's ten pieces. They can't cook and they can't add. These idiots. <laughs> There's the tailgate step. Helps mother-in-law to her seat. Really? You keep your mother-in-law in the back of the truck, do you? <laughs> No hurry, found cat, 50-50, black and white, very skittish. Been here for about two years. <laughs> Look at the photo. Common sense in dealing with flashers. <laughs> you know what they're doing, huh? We have some weddings. These are people who are deeply in love, who just happen to have interesting names that are getting married. Here's the break a glass wedding. There's the right left wedding. There's the love champion wedding. I like this one. Farmer to marry plant. There's the Gory butcher wedding. I like this one. Look, folks, it's the macaroni and cheese wedding. <laughs> How about this one? It's the went attaway. It's the go and get her wedding. Hey, what's this all about? This is the crap deal wedding. <laughs> This guy's smiling because he's at the King Woody wedding. It's the Wiener Whipple wedding. 
about the riding butts wedding. <laughs> and last but not least, it's the Wacker Daily Wedding, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Okay, there's the prize. Missing evidence case stalls for lack of evidence. <laughs> hey, here's a shocker. Democrats pursuing women. So what else is new? <laughs> Now, folks, here's Project Management Services. They might want to change their slogan. Using PMS is the key to success. Yes. <laughs> this seems creepy to me. I'm sorry. It's Rosie Musical Spring Doll. She wears a pink floral dress with matching bows. Her head rotates to You Are My Sunshine. <laughs> Some bad Linda Blair doll I had left over you. I my son. Oh, the creepy. I'm going to read you another uh, report from the police. Officer was called to investigate a report of indecent exposure at the Quick Mart. Reporting party said that after parking his car, a woman in a nearby vehicle lifted her shirt, exposed her breasts, and says, "How do you like these?" The guy called the police. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the police come to investigate. The guy said he didn't get the name or number of the car, but he could recognize the breasts if he saw them again. <laughs> I mean, who is this? Who is this guy? A woman goes like this. Hey, give me the... <laughs> calls, calls 911. Uh, boy, here's a really stupid criminal. 23-year-old uh, <laughs> Dennis Sullivan arrested in Manassas, Virginia, for robbery of what he thought was an armored car. This guy thought it was an armored car. In reality, it was a laundry truck delivering <laughs> towels and mops. He runs up with a sawed-off shotgun. Open the back, he yells, grabs a bag of mop heads, and runs off. There you go, right there. How stupid is that? Another dumb criminal. Here you go. Daryl Sherman, 28. Got in his car, drove towards the Oklahoma County Courthouse where he's scheduled to face charge of possession of marijuana. For some reason, because the courthouse parking was full, he pulled into the Oklahoma police parking lot. Two plain clothesmen said, hey, you can't park there. You're not a policeman. He said, oh, yeah, well, I'm going to park here. I have to go to court. They asked him for his ID. He opened his glove compartment and pulled out several bags of marijuana to get to his license. <laughs> He was rearrested. <laughs> Here's two people you get together. Look at the top ad. This is a livestock ad. Have you seen our cow? Female, black with a white face, red tag in her ear, last seen on County Road. Look at the ad below it. Is this your cow? Black with a white face. <laughs> Has a red tag in her ear. <laughs> Speak out. <laughs> Graduates, what is your most memorable experience in school? I like Josh Hawkins. He says, what does he say here? He likes English. My senior English made me learn stuff. <laughs> Never underestimate the American people. It says, here's another question. This question was asked at the Albertson store. What type of distractions take place inside your vehicle while you're driving? Here's Rudy Cerna. Rudy says, drinking beer and talking a lot on my cell phone are distractions, but I do remain focused. <laughs> yeah, how sleazy can you get? There's a rustic motel. What do you think he's trying to say? Special rates for that quick get-together. <laughs> Family fun, there's the Catskill Game Farm. Thousands of erotic and tame birds for kids to play with. <laughs> hey, yeah, I don't want my kid playing with any erotic birds, okay? I'm not even gonna say this one. I think you can read it for yourself. <laughs> Kev, I know you're a vegetarian. I All think right. this might appeal to you. This might make you change your mind. I think your mouth was going to water him. I mean, look at this, look at his, here's a hell of a deal, look at. Frozen pork rectums. Oh! 50 metric tons. <laughs> oh. You know, give me another case of them frozen.
frozen pork rectums, will you? The, oh. the kids just love them. We got a bunch of people coming over. Folks, you have a head... Here's an odd story. Hudson woman defends son facing S&M club charges. Although she was shocked to learn that of his arrest on charges that he ran an S&M sex party in Attleboro, in Attleboro, Benjamin Davis' mother said he's a decent man. I'm, like, I'm proud of him, said the mother, but the other part of me wants to spank him. Okay? All right, I think I see... I think I see how this young man may have learned this behavior. <laughs> Here you go, $500,000 marijuana crop destroyed. And, uh, Arnold Environmental Division employees discovered marijuana worth an estimated street value more than $500,000 growing on the base recently. They immediately called base security forest who pulled 522 plants out of the ground and smoked them at the base. <laughs> You know, if you have something like this, why advertise it? Organ. I have one. A child-sized one. I don't know. I don't know. And I can't get a date. I think this one's kind of cool. 24-inch round above-ground swimming pool. Four inches deep. Diving board sold separately. <laughs> All right, there's the dull night wedding. <laughs> People said it would never happen, but apparently it did. It's the gay carpenter wedding. <laughs> Guy from the big city getting married, the Gotham dork. <laughs> it's the rector knob wedding. How about going to this one? It's the brown heap wedding. It's the leak butts nuptial. It's the Goose Lewis wedding. And my favorite, the last one, the Fluck Daily wedding, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. A kid store, so some products. Look at this, it's summer kid. It's a frisbee, and look what it says up there caution, small parts <laughs> choking. <laughs> Is this really a choking hazard? <laughs> oh, the kids gonna choke on that. <laughs> this is another odd one I saw. Way to grow. This teaches kids how butterflies grow. See the different stages of a butterfly? There's the caterpillar, another caterpillar, and then down at the bottom, it becomes a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like this. If your kids aren't screwed up enough already, I'll send them over the edge. Beer antidioxin aids health if you drink 117 gallons a day. You know the guys going, I can do it. <laughs> I like the Webster police. The Webster police with their new canines. Look at the uh, part I've underlined there. The commands are given to the dogs in their native language. <laughs> Are you excited about watching this summer? Look at Brent Kale, 32, bobsledding. <laughs> Here's the tool house. Our friendly staff is waiting to serve you. <laughs> you want something, y'all? Now, there's nothing funny about this story except the last sentence. It, 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 this is, it says, well, I'll show you the headline. It says, hog beaten after fair wind. Somebody beat up this guy's hog after the hog won. Well, well this, here's the bizarre part. Look at the paragraph. A grand champion market hog that was beaten in its fairground pen is in recovering and should be on its way to the butcher next week. <laughs> You okay, little fella? Now! What is that? <laughs> Folks, always buy brand name. Don't be fooled by Coca-Cola. <laughs> yes. Do not get Coca-Cola. Or the other pack. There's another pack. There's two packs, Coca-Cola. You know, I admit I'm not a good speller, okay? But at least I try. Look at this menu. Hot dogs with grilled onions and gray poop on. <laughs> Thank you.
Looking for career change? Want to make $50 plus per year, huh? Uh, $50 plus, huh? Someone sent me this, and I looked at it for 10 minutes, and I couldn't figure out what was odd about it. I'll show you the picture, okay? A man shaking hand with another man. Now look at the guy's shadow on the other guy's... <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that bizarre? Isn't that bizarre? It looks like a puppet on a stick or something. <laughs> Clinton keep putting himself in this situation. You think his people would know? Casting call out for "Come Blow Your Horn." <laughs> <laughs> Folks, you gotta. Have I have a bone to pick with our Bureau of Engraving engraver Kenneth Kipperman. He did the new Alexander Hamilton. Look, I took some artistic liberties, including a chin reduction. I didn't want Hamilton to look like Jay Leno. <laughs> Now, well, mate, have some Australian naval oranges. <laughs> that is there. Now, this is the stupidest thing. It's party poppers. 4,000 noisy poppers in each box. Perfect for your party. It's just bubble wrap. Look. <laughs> Look, you hand those out to your guests. I got... There's uh, Christina Sibriaro follows her tee shot down the fairway. Really? What is that on her tee? Really? <laughs> oh, I like this one here. Here's Mood Lipstick. Reacts to your mood. There's before. And look, apparently the lipstick oh. gives you herpes. There's before. There you go. Fabulous. <laughs> It's herpes lipstick. What is this? Look at this ad. Help me find my pajama bottoms. Green plaid saying ring ad across the bum. Last seen in a back alley between Garrett and Wilson. What is that? What is that? What is that? In a cob is not an easy job. Policeman bitten by trouser snake. I don't even want to know what that is. Okay, Realtor Group awarded scholarships. There's Kristen Sinclair, second from left, and Laura, third from the right. <laughs> I love this one. How hard do you think this guy's going to work? Man accused of killing his lawyer gets a new attorney. <laughs> well, I hope you're better than that last guy. Ah, uh, here you go. This is it. It says, Hunter attacked by Big Bear. An unarmed bear attacked a hunter Thursday. <laughs> you see, now this is, the Repub this is the Second Amendment. The right to arm bears, ladies and gentlemen. This is what Charlton Heston has been talking about. <laughs> the right to arm. You ever look under Chapter 11's, you know, uh, businesses that have failed, gone bankrupt? Gee, I wonder why this one went bankrupt. It's called Poop and Golf. Bob, that, that's not what the hole is for, Bob. <laughs> Honey, I don't think this is working out, this poop and golf thing. Yeah. Look at this. Here's, this guy's a plastic surgeon. He's got boobs for $99. <laughs> Let me tell you something. They're pretty darn real looking for $99. <laughs> So here's the Raging Bull, now open for lunch. Family-oriented atmosphere, no exotic dances until after 4 p.m. So, so, so. <laughs> All right, kids, time to leave. It's 10 to 4. <laughs> Folks, I don't know, maybe I have that, maybe I just see something. I don't know, I don't think I have that kind of mind, but would you really want to pull the trigger on this uh, squirt gun? Look at this thing here, I don't know. Uh, it seems to me... <laughs> A little creepy going like... <laughs> feel like a pervert. <laughs> uh, here you go. Look at that one. Ex explain this one to me. 
Shoes that impress. Sensual shoes. Really? Now, where are the shoes in this ad? <laughs> Anybody see any shoes? I don't see any shoes. <laughs> Oklahoma Community Day. Sponsored by the Oklahoma Fire Department. 6 to 8, Dina Dunning. Was that the barn dance? Look at 8 to 12. Sex. 8 to 12, sex. Yeah. That's a nice break after square, dance, square dancing. And... <laughs> Earn a collage degree quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently just a little too quickly. <laughs> I like this. Here's a beautiful historic four-bedroom home in the village of Clarkston, an extra large corner lot. Newly decorated. Free two-liter pop with purchase of home. <laughs> Dad, when you buy this house right now, I'm gonna throw in this bottle of soda. What do you think? <laughs> Honey, we gotta do it, honey. <laughs> You're gonna miss out. I don't know. You, you think they know this when they write these? How can they not know? How can you? I'm not even gonna say this. You can read it for yourself. Some weddings and anniversaries. There's the horny 50th. There's the horny 50th. There's the Belcher Gross wedding. There's the More Beer wedding. I like this guy. It's the Poor Sap wedding. This sounds like a fun one to attend. It's the Bacon Odor Nuptials. I like these two. Look, they're keen and eager. Yes. Why is this guy getting married if men love Morris? Huh? There's the whole trainer wedding. This one's fun to say. For Christmas, it's Santa got a bigger staff. It's the long lay wedding. You know, you should see the ones we can't use. They're unbelievable. It's the Crammer Greaser Nuptials. And finally, you don't want to miss this one. It's the Leaky Peters wedding. Ladies and gentlemen, right there. All right. This one, traditional Latin mass in English. Very traditional Latin mass in English. I love school lunch menus. This is from Ohio. Carlton, Ohio, Friday, meatloaf, roasted red potatoes, broccoli, cauliflower casserole, three bean salad, and pink stuff. <laughs> pink stuff, whatever that is. Uh, this is the kind of thing that might make you a vegetarian. Look at the delicious basted retriever. Mm. Mm. Hey, it, it, don't knock it till you've tried it. It's really not bad. <laughs> I got a chainsaw, a Craftsman 16-inch for Christmas, but it's way too dangerous for me, so I left it in the box. We'll trade it for a good gun. <laughs> this medicine is used to fight infection. Hey, you, ever read, you ever read the whole medicine thing? Look at the label there. Unless halfway down, notify your doctor if you develop furry overgrowth on your tongue. <laughs> I got food on my tongue. Oh. Here's a gracious contemporary stucco home with complete horse set up on five feced acres. Mm. Yeah, what's lovelier than that? Here's the first baby of 2001. Apparently, this is a very small town. Uh, Beaverhead County's first baby, little Brett Douglas, was born 1.15 a.m. July 3rd. <laughs> A very slow town, really. It's the first baby of the new year. Is this really appropriate for kids, these two animals? Hmm? I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe if you're in the 4-H club. Happy couple. Look, oh, here's the kind of thing, you know, look at this. A brass chain mesh transformed this bikini into evening wear. Oh, yeah, where are you going out at evening at that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go walking around at 5 o'clock after. 
What else does it say? It says, oh, oh, should not be worn in the sun or in water. Because it's brass and it heats up or something. But evening wear. Let's say you have a business meeting. This is what you might wear. Well, it depends on your business. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure what that business is. Yeah. Tell me about it. <laughs>